new Korean MMO reminds me, why can't we have this in Western MMOs? So it's, this is a new MMO. I am here for it. I think, uh, like Gray said on Project Agro, uh, we are basically checking out more stuff from Korea. I think Korea is actually doing really, really well with their games, especially Nikkei and Stellar Blade. You can't forget about Stellar Blade. And uh, Lies of P, which I haven't played, which I actually do want to play now because I've been playing uh, Elden Ring. So uh, let's go and check out this video. Let's see what this dude has to say. Based off of this character creator, this girl looks pretty hot already. That that's that's all I'm saying. This girl looks pretty hot already. This is not a three. This is a W for that system that you just saw there. I mean, fuck. Come on. Come on. The she MMO population good. consists of 95% male. But let's be real here. If the player audience is 90% male, that means a large percentage of your audience is going to appreciate a feature like that. Now, here's the thing, though. Um... Yes, he is true. 100% true. Uh, most of your uh, video gamers that are playing at least this type of game, like MMOs and stuff like that, they're basically um, neckbeards and uh, dick lords, right? So the thing is, uh, there. Now, I'm not saying that there isn't, but there. But women also tend to prefer hot-looking females, right? What's going on, Anonymous uh, and uh, Justin Martin's? What's going on, dude? Uh, a lot of a lot of females that I know. They actually like playing video games with hot and attractive characters, right? Never have have you ever heard, hey, um, do you like playing uh, a fat, ugly, disgusting looking character as your main character? Since you're going to be staring at them the entire time, w would you want to play that? A lot of them is like, no, why, why the hell would I do that? Why can't I just play a hot, attractive looking girl? So that's why Stellar Blade did so well. Not just because the gameplay is really freaking good, but the aesthetics of the game is awesome, right? People got really, really mad that, um, you know, uh, Eve was based off of a real girl. And it's like, nobody actually looks like that in real life. And when we, and whenever you prove them wrong, they just like, they freaking freak the fuck out. So the thing is the fact that the game is also really good. That's, they can't stand it. They can't freaking, oh man, they're so pissed off, right? Now, here's the thing though. Uh, if Eve was, let's say if Eve and Adam were swapped, right? Both of the girls that basically your, um, your assistants are extremely hot, but the main character is a guy. Let's say you're using Adam instead of Eve. The game would still be really fucking good. And then you just have a hot side character, which is awesome. Now let's see what else this guy has to say about this, because I don't even know what this is, but I'm liking it so far. Yes. Yes. Fit. We're playing Raven 2, guys. Oh. We're playing Raven 2. Oh. We're playing Raven 2. Yo, they got small titties, big titties, large here? titties. Oh, oh God. Wow. Wow. Okay. Yo, Western game developers, it's over. Western, Western game developer, it is over. Pack your bags, get out. You guys are done. You guys are cooked. Because every character that's in the MMO that's coming out of a Western development game company, it's they're always usually very ugly looking, except for Capcom. I think Capcom is the outlier here that actually make attractive women uh, in, in their MMOs, right? And the thing is that it's not. Uh, yeah, Capcom is relatively woke in some ways, but overall, it doesn't diminish any of their games. But if you have this game that she's wearing a G-string. Yes. Yes. Oh, oh my fucking God. What the fuck? <laughs> we had this. We had the Bro. same. <laughs> we had the same. <laughs> w costume design, sir. Yes. You you know damn well this little this little cloak that has the space or that has the cut in between the two piece cloak <laughs> the two part cloak you wait, know wait, for a what okay he's okay the 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 YouTube channel that he's reacting to is called Render Max. Fact hmm. that person knew what the fuck he was doing. Render Max. What huh? a gr give that man a fucking raise. Holy. Wow! Sake. 
Damn. Damn, chat. Holy. Like, that guy looks freaking buff and ripped like a devil outfit. Looks just pretty freaking cool, but the girl? Jesus. Jesus. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my. Oh mama. I mean, shit, man. Holy. Damn. Damn. Ashes of creation. If Ashes Damn. of creation had this character model, I would pre-order a two thousand dollar pack. Yeah. <laughs> so so, so the, the the thing is, I. This looks amazing. Why? See, if you cater to your uh, demographic, if you cater to your audience, it's like, hey, we're gonna make video games. That that make the character look really, really good. Like you're okay, here's the thing. Stellar Blade um intrigued me and, and and made me play that game was because how it looked. Right? It's because I'm like, damn, the main character's hot, the side characters are hot. Almost every character in that game is hot, besides that, those people who are like disgusting and like looks like they're like cybernetic. And like weird and shit like that. But every character in that game that you are basically close vicinity to are extremely attractive. Enya is attractive. Lily, as of, you know, I, I'm not even saying Eve, but uh, they're all really, really good looking. Now, the thing is, it just so happens that the gameplay is exceptional. The gameplay for Stellar Blade is exceptional, right? So, Raven 2, just based off of this. It says character creation trailer, free to play mobile PC. Uh, the gameplay better be good as well. Okay, if you have hot looking characters and the gameplay is mid, a lot of people are just going to play the game for a little bit and then the game will just fall off and die, which is what you don't want. Now, if this game is really good, I'm in. I'm all in. I will literally make the videos on my YouTube channel right now saying the future of MMOs is here. This is what we want, Chad. We are so simple. Listen, guys, we're not, don't, uh, for, for those of you who are developing MMOs, stop trying to reinvent the wheel, okay? We already have our flavors, <laughs> all right? Let the people just play the game and enjoy. If you want to make a theme park MMO that's based around raids, make it. Just make sure the models look fucking great. The outfits slash models, characters, I'm going to categorize that into one. Okay, your gameplay has to be great too, all right? Like I said... Like, you can have a game that looks really, really awful, but plays really, really well, right? The game that or just have, like, you know, it's, like, if you have a shitty-ass game, like, okay, I, I've never played Minecraft, but a lot of people seem to like Minecraft. That game looks like fucking garbage. It looks like a little, a little kid's game, but a lot of people are playing that game, right? So the thing is, I agree with this guy to a point. I think that games should look good when they can, but the game play needs to come first I, I i that that like you can have like wasn't there a crab souls game or something like that like it's like uh another crab's treasure that game has style but i think that game does not look great right graphically and fidelity that game does not look great but a lot of people really really like that game because the gameplay is really good now if raven 2 has a very very good gameplay then it it's is is literally in the bag you're basically printing money at this time one little thing okay and make sure the combat's great your combat's great if the combat is great there it is okay and the character models look good at the very least you're in the game okay then obviously you're gonna have to have like a pretty good content cadence you have you're gonna have to have good content in general all that whatever but at least if at least if you have those two things classes slash character look models like this and combat you're gonna have a hype launch at the very least guaranteed man come on jeez, Raven jeez. okay okay it's by net marble so i believe net marble if i'm not mistaken are the same people that does marvel contest of champions if i'm not mistaken so yeah so uh i mean shit man korean developers clearly they know their fucking audience. Wake up, Western developers. Wake the fuck up. True.
I'm sick of looking at all these or hearing about all these like awesome new Western MMORPGs that could be the future of MMOs because they're not fucking pay to win. And then they, they fucking look like, 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 like just ass. Okay. They just look like ass. <laughs> I would like the characters to look better. I don't know how good they look, but I'm going to assume that the characters in this game look like shit. The models look like shit. Do Ashes you know of creation. Why? The reason why is because this is a Western game and apparently you just can't get the best of both worlds you know what i mean you can't be the smartest man in the world and the most athletic man in the world right you can't have uh you can't have great looking characters and be non-pay to win if you're gonna be a non-pay to win game that means it has to be a western game with shitty looking fucking characters and non-sexy looking characters if you like, want sexy looking like i i don't know when did um western game development like companies started making their characters ugly oh i know when it's when the whole lgbt bullshit took over when every when everything has to be a part of the lgbtq right um i think the last time we got an mmo that looks good like the characters look good i don't even i don't even know when man like i haven't played an mmo in such a long time but the thing is um in terms of video games, there are a lot of good characters, the good looking characters, but from Western game developments, not a lot like Blizzard, like they used to make stuff look really, really hot, really, really, uh, really, really good looking. But the thing is, um, everything is fucking woke now. So you have a lot of these uh, Wokies that infiltrated these gaming companies that basically ruined everything, made everything just like, okay, you know what? I got to have a fat fuck in there. I got to have a, you know, a bonus hoe in there. I got to have, uh, you know, a, a fake, you know, all these shit that are in, in these games now. It's, um, it's like, for instance, Overwatch. Overwatch was great. The characters still look good. There's a reason why it's one of the highest, like, r34 like searches back in the day right like i would say a couple years ago uh I, because like overwatch basically fell off it's like you don't get a lot of valorant stuff like i'm not saying they're mmo but i'm talking about these like western game developments yeah it's, uh, it's just yeah pride yeah pride month is literally tomorrow and i don't i i, I can i can give a rat's ass about that shit man like, I, I don't give a fuck. You want to celebrate that shit? Go ahead and celebrate it. Like, it doesn't really care. Like, you know, I, I don't want to see your dick hanging out in the streets. And the thing is, um, I don't want to see your stupid messaging in video games. We don't need representation. We just need good gameplay. It's because a lot of these companies, they promote representation over good gameplay. And that's where your game sucks. Ugh hot characters edgy flashy effects you're just gonna have to accept that it will be a korean mmo and pay to win that is just the reality that we live in and for that reason i know for a fact that ash of creation is going to have the worst looking fucking characters that we've seen <laughs> all the characters to look like this all the characters to look like this like this Damn. like fucking like where, where does she go like any one of these guys any one of these girls where, yeah, even even the, the guys look good. Oh my oh, god! Oh, I, want, I want my geez. character to look like, like this. Like look look at this guy, man. He looks like a he looks like if Kefka became like a you know started working out, started um a hard maxing, right? Basically, imagine if um if Kefka started hard maxing in Final Fantasy VI, and then he's like, you know what? I'm gonna start working out. I'm gonna stop looking like a clown, and I'm gonna start looking like a Giga Chad. This is how Kefka will look like, right? But like, like, look at this character on the side, right? Like, this, well, this looks like a WoW character. Like, ah, man. Oh, man. This. I mean, look at yeah, that. Yeah, that looks odd. Guy's badass. Yeah, it looks. Even this is edgy and cool. Damn. I mean, fuck. Oh, fuck. Jeez, man. This is the best one. This is the best one. Holy shit. Man, it's it's like imagine if they're um, what's it called again? Um, who who? Like the freaking uh, bad, the, the, the bad guy in Diablo 4. Imagine if she was like, you know what? I'm gonna look hot, even hotter than, oh my God, dude. It's just, a, oh, like even this Giga Chat over here. The fact that you can sort of see his nips. I know for a fact a lot of you motherfuckers look at this and, and, and 
have a thing for shit like this too. Okay, both of them, and she's a little in her face. Oh my god. Jeez. Even if you don't want overly sexy, even though she is sexy, like this as like a paladin or something, or you know, the armor wielding mage class, whatever that may be, like like a mat, like dude, come on, this is it. Come, I mean. Okay, now here's the thing though, this game, according to the according Raven Two, is a free to play mobile PC game. If these outfits are locked behind money, I'm going to be mad. I'm going to be furious. Please do not lock these sexy outfits behind pay to win content. Uh, you know what? They're probably already doing it, and I'm probably going to buy it. <sighs> Listen, man. Wake up, guys. Wake up. Jeez. I mean, I'm in love. What's her fucking name? Jesus. What is her name? Is she single? Net Marble does play to win games. Yes, they do. Um, what's it called again? Uh, Marble Contest of Champions. She's perfect. Uh, chat, what do you guys think? Should we try playing this stupid fucking game that we we're going to quit after a day just to check it out and appreciate the character models and the men of culture that designed the game? What do you guys think? Yes. Holy shit. I mean, look at what I'm doing right now. I know this game is garbage. You guys in chat know this game is garbage. This is going to be mobile MMORPG garbage when it comes to a video, <laughs> when it comes to a fucking MMORPG video game. Yet here we are installing it. You guys in chat want me to check it out or wouldn't mind me checking it out simply because what? Because the characters look like like that. Yeah, if 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 you're if your game characters look really good looking, I'm like let's let, okay, I'm not, I'm not trying to be gay here, right? In, in uh, what's it called again? Uh, Lost Ark. All the male characters. Okay, I, 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 I made a male character. All the male characters, they literally look like Giga Chads. Like straight up Giga Chads. Like fucking strong jaw. Fucking hard maxing. Fucking uh, jelking. All of that shit, right? They look really, really good. Now, if the males look really, really good, that we all automatically know that the females will look really, really good too. And it's these Western game developers that don't give a shit about that. Oh, uh, who cares? Hey, what, are you trying to masturbate to a, a 2D pixel? Are you stupid? Or oh, you're so cringe. Yes. I want to masturbate to 2D pixels. Don't you want me to buy your video game? Yeah, Munt Maxing? I don't, I, Argo, I don't, I don't want to hear it. I don't, I don't want to hear about that one. He's got characters look like that. <laughs> it's worth a fucking peek. Am I wrong? Chat, tell me I'm wrong. Tell me, uh, type X in chat if I'm fucking wrong. Yeah, so that's a good video. Uh, the thing is, I, I want to see, I'm going to share that with you. Go ahead. Go ahead and uh, go ahead and give it a like. I'll go, I'll go ahead and give it a like chat room. Uh, there you go. There you go. Yeah, go, go ahead and check him out. Go ahead and check him out. Uh, there's a the video. Uh, here you go. But the thing is, I want to see what render max is. Hold on. Let me actually go and check out what render, because just in case they're like a not safe for work thing. Render max. Okay. All right. So I, I just skipped to 10 seconds and I'm already enjoy I'm already liking it. Okay. Oh, shit. Dude, this guy's a badass. Oh, oh damn, he's like a dragoon with a great sword. Hey. Oh, mama mia! Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, so... Wow! There's a lot! They're all good looking! They're not ugly and they're all good looking. Holy shit, see? Oh. Oh my god. Ugh. 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 Yes. Yo, I'm having sex with a demon. Demon sex.
Oh, okay, we don't you, we, yo, we, we don't need to see the males. Get out of here. We don't see that. That's what I'm talking about. We need more of these games in the West. I'm just saying. I'm just saying we need more games like this. Chat. We're, 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 we're going to be playing this game. Jeez. Oh, move, move it again. Move it. Oh, yes. That's what I would do. Oh, mama. Is there a- there has to be a boob slider. For a game like this, there has to be a boob slider, right? That's basically Lady Gaga. Damn, demon lord. Holy, look at that. Look at those- look at those demon titties. This one's pretty cool, like the assassin character. It's like a demon hunter or something. Yeah, we're gonna be playing the hard version. All right, let's go and see if they have, uh... Do they have a jiggle for, uh, sliders for boobs? Because that, that's actually the most important thing. Okay, so different eyes. Yeah, the custom ability in this game is pretty good. Come on, I, all I care about are boob sliders. Hold up. Yep, this game is great. This game is great already. Damn! Yes, like, don't change it. Just leave it at that. Don't change it. Damn, you can also get thicker thighs. Oh yeah, big, big. You gotta go big. Jeez. Ooh, deep demon tits. Yeah, this 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 game is pretty good already. Oh man, I I I can hear sweet baby ink freaking like copium like no. No! Like, I can see them. <laughs> Imagine having good looking characters in your video game. Imagine that. I imagine, like, no. Se okay, he we obviously know that sex sells. Look, 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 you, 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 can, you can go. Look, like, there, you can make black, white, Hispanic, demon, Asian, uh, cat girl. Like, ho, ho, the green green lady. Like, like here's the thing. Here's the thing. All right. Sex sells. Now, if your game is actually really, really, really good, that makes your game even better. Like, we do know that like, Stellar Blade has been doing really freaking good. None of none of these girls are ugly. None of them are ugly. Right? But then you're going to get people who are from Niantic, from Pokemon. They're going to be like, uh, why, can't I made a f why can't I make a fat fuck? I can't make fat fucks? That sucks, man. This game is not real. This game has no ugly characters. That's, that, that's the reason why they're mad. That's the reason why they're super upset. But yeah. Yeah. See, chat, I'm already subscribed. Go ahead and check out this video as well, man. Go ahead and check out this video as well. I'll go ahead and I'll kind of share it share it with you guys.